This is the uh, the Montparnasse Ossuary area, and you can see with the yellow and the red, it's one of the few areas that has the two levels of tunnels. And then uh, uh, we're going to be going in way down here. We have the long walk. Yeah, okay, and this is a close-up of that area uh, underneath Montparnasse. And the bones are in these little areas. But some of these were actually pretty well known and they, like, hundreds of Parisians would go back and forth through these bigger tunnels. The one we're in right now, it was uh, set up in 18, in the 1850s and you can see these glyphs on the side where it would have like the initial of the engineer in charge of it and something to signify the date and uh, which locality it was. So you can see like, like this was probably part of an old limestone mine and it was a lot wider and the whole area was mined out for the limestone and then they would fill up the sides with, uh, with loose dirt and rock, pile up stuff like this and then to really solidify it they'd put on these uh, kind of like rough cut limestone blocks. And the cool thing, I mean, this is good limestone. Like you go to the Louvre or any of the Paris landmarks, it's all exactly the same stone. All the Paris was built with the rock from these catacombs, you know? That was how Paris got to be what it is. Um, and uh, so like when they're building churches, Notre Dame and the other churches, they were able to do it because there was limestone really close by in these areas that at the time were not part of the city. But then of course over time the city got bigger and started being built directly over what had been mines pr prior to that. So that was why they had to do the consolidation because as the city got bigger and buildings were erected over places that were giant open cavities, occasionally it could collapse in. So we're right underneath the uh, um, cemetery of Montparnasse. I'm trying to dig up a femur or something to show you, but it's stuck in the floor pretty well. And all of these areas, most of the intact stalls have been taken. And uh, I mean, it's definitely too bad. If you could dig down, you'd find plenty more. So you can see how many people come here over the years. But these are the radial tunnels. And they just, all around, it's just these side passages filled up with bones. And then I think there's a straight shaft up at the very end. Now, this one's blocked off. I'm thinking of a different area. We're kind of crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. It's really cool.